My name is K Hug. You can call me Kyler. And welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my. Oh, let me get out of here. Or welcome to my channel. Uh, today it's episode number eight of the Let's Play Survival Series, season number two. Let me get on up out of here. I'm never gonna get over using these trapdoors as uh, ways of being one block tall. Actually, hold on. And. Hello! There we go. Alright, so today we got a few updates for you. I've done a lot of AFKing off camera, and oh, we are, we no longer have an axe. Uh, as you can tell, we've definitely done quite a bit of AFKing considering the amount of diamond tools I have. Our trading has, has increased exponentially, and you can see some already some updates over there in the horizon with the black perimeter and that... What was that? Okay, nothing. So don't forget while you're here hanging out with me, go ahead, smash that like and button give me a thumbs up leave me a comment subscribe if you will whatever you got to do everything you whatever you got to do or want to do everything you do do <laughs> that's a tongue twister uh is greatly appreciated so let's just get right into updates other than me needing to sleep which i just did recently so we should be good don't see any nightmares uh but yeah let's uh let's get into the updates so right now We've got plenty of light around here, so we shouldn't have any mob issues. I've been trying to make sure we keep the mob issues to a minimum because we've kind of started moving over these villagers into the depths of what is now this, uh, the lower level or the storage system and trading area that will be of this entire thing. Now, mind you, I have a lot of digging out to do. We've got to dig out, you know, approximately that. Oh, there goes a carrot. Oh, that never ceases to satisfy me. It's always going to be really fun to watch a carrot. So now, of course, now that I'm looking, there won't be one. Hold on. Let me just do this. I'm not technically looking. No, nothing. Okay. Well, maybe we'll catch it later. But that tiny little hole right there shoots carrots out ever so often from this farm. Uh, but yeah, no, this will be the, this will be uh, my main platform here where I'm able to see all the processes going around. And we'll have this path that I've kind of, I just got done doing, just got done uh, adding this, and oh, there goes a carrot again. I don't know if you saw it, it was very brief. It just happens ever so slightly. Uh, but yeah, that all will come down there, and this will be a pathway around, leaving a little bit of space, as you see here, so we can kind of see down and see those items fall down uh, into these storage systems below. Uh, there also, will be bulk storage down below as well. Uh, this is just kind of a race platform, so I can stand here in AFK. And when all the farms are finally in, you know, carrots, melons, pumpkins, what have you, all the way around, uh, it'll be really cool to be able to just panorama this and see all of the. Oh, there goes a carrot! Ha <laughs> ha! We caught one. Uh, we'll be able to we'll be able to panorama this and get all of the farms flowing equally. And moving on with the day. So, oh, did he just? No, he bounced back to the bed. I want to move a couple of these librarians, specifically the mending guy, uh, and there's uh, some other ones I also need to probably move in. Well, I need to get set first before I move. I think one of these guys I locked in at a looting with this guy, right? Yep, Fortune 3, we need to probably move him as well. He's going to give us fire protection, which is pretty cool. I'd love to see what his next few trades are going to be. This will be great for things like moving through the nether. Uh, we've been doing a lot of blackstone harvesting, so that may be one we need to go with. Now, uh, what else we got in here? We got Feather Falling. We locked that in. That'll be great because I keep falling into a pit that we made. And then obviously that's not really very useful there. Let me go ahead and did we leave any enemies here? We left some emeralds. Perfect. And some carrots. Let's grab some golden carrots. Nope. I think you've got golden carrots. Nope. Not, not you. You. Wait, what? Oh, I thought that was a diamond badge. Okay, so my golden carrot guys are down below already. I think I've got emeralds down there, so I'm going to go carefully that way and get those items from him, and then we will get into a closer view of what we got going on here. I'm going to try not to spoil anything. We are running past a lot of it. Now, this is what Featherfall would be nice for. I could just jump. It does take a few hearts away, so you got to be careful. Okay. Um... We'll get some golden carrots here going, and then we'll go over some of this stuff. We'll do the golden carrots, and I'm going to jump in a little more, because I can replenish. Let's get a whole stack. Let's just get a whole stack. There we go. 36. Maximum buy. Okay. So we are ready. I don't like how they can get back up there. I mean, I have nothing I can do about it, really. Uh, I could probably put some blocks there, but 
I don't know. So before I had a design where this was one chamber with two guys in it. It was open. It was kind of like a little, it almost kind of felt like a jail cell. And I kind of thought, well, we're not really running a jail, a prison by any means here. Uh, but we are running a trading facility. So I'll have to figure out what I want the final look to be uh, for this. This is just rough. Um, let me run over here real quick and show you what we got over here as well. Carry here. Uh, so this is kind of the rough inside. So I could technically build out across here and have their bed down there so they can only spawn on this block. Uh, but I don't know if I minded that much. It gives them a little bit of freedom of movement. Uh, and this is all kind of coming together quite nicely. This is what I spent the majority of my morning doing. Uh, well, midday doing. So um, yeah, it's all to be, it's all maybe not completely permanent until I go back and review it all. So now I'm seeing like this little guy here is weird because it's not on this side but i think this will be like a center and there'll be one more portion like i don't know gap and then i don't know we're we're slowly figuring it out i like these little archways not sure how i feel about this middle piece yeah it looks really rigid if you will but if i make a full bridge over and have it angle down like this on the other side and maybe i will fall more in love with it we will see uh, okay i'm going to do what i said i was going to do we're gonna go this way Go back downstairs. I have a chest down there where I moved all this stuff. Uh, I need to fill that in too. But we're gonna grab the rest of the materials and we're just gonna we're just gonna build a little exterior bits bits of the base and, and interiors. I guess it's the same in and out. There we go. There it is. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We've got most of it kind of set out. We got a skeleton here down beneath. You know, obviously, well, obviously that doesn't need to be. Yeah. Now obviously these pillars can be a little. Darn it. Obviously, these pillars can be a little taller all the way around. Oh, oh my goodness. We are struggling today. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which means the pillar goes here. That's one, two, three, four, five. Hello. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, perfect. We did manage to somehow do this right the first time. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this pillar does not need to, why did I put this pillar here? What was I thinking? Something looked a little strange. I didn't quite understand it till it stuck back there. That's, that's funny. And now I've come to a similar issue that we are out of Blackstone. And I don't know if I have any more to make. I can't believe I used all my blackstone right before doing this video. I knew I knew we were coming to do this. And so I kept that kept that available. Do we have any more? We got 12. It's not gonna make us much, and we don't have enough half slabs to really provide anything. So what we can do instead is maybe work on our pillars. All the way up, maybe. Gosh, it's a long ways. We got dirt, we got that water. Oh, we got one torch. We've got that water column to use. I got 64, it's not a ton, I can get more. I'm not worried about the number that we have. I say we just hit the water column, go up top and maybe finish that way. That's that way. That side all the way up, I don't know if that's gonna, I just, I need something to look at, I guess. Something to really give me a, aha, you've done this. Kind of kind of thing we are now at the top of the world oh so this is why i didn't do this though because standing here is dangerous and i don't actually have a way of going up any further i could you know could put these down but then i need black stone from there to there i guess maybe being up here is is kind of silly after all we do get a good bird's eye view of what these farms look like from above. This is what's in throughout the us, rest of the farm. How is our sugarcane doing? I'm assuming, well, if we fall from here, it's over. Keep that in mind. But this is actually a good bird's eye view of what's going on. I know it would it would be better if we were looking that way. Oh, wow, that's a that's a that's a sight from here. Maybe we go ten this time. Eat a carrot. Okay. Oh, okay. That's our last one. Worked out pretty good. We're about even with the carrot farm. That's a good height there. We're even. I could get the three out of this. But then I won't be able to make that jump. Let's call it. Do I have more? Ooh, I could have gone 12 more, which would have been pretty close to the top. But I got to get to that side too. 
Uh, do we have these poked out for any reason? Just so we can see inside, I guess. Just for updates, I suppose. Okay, everything looks empty. I also didn't check. Yep. Oh, this one's capped out. Okay, I kind of knew this was going to be a problem. Oh boy. Gosh, I need to get actually another librarian. Did, did I not trade with one of you? Trade it with you. Trade with you. Did not trade with you, right? Are you the brand new guy? So if I take this from you, are you jobless? You look a little hopeless, but you don't look jobless, which is weird. I never traded with him. So the fact that he's not locking in with a new trade is, oh, we also spent all of our books. So let's see if I can lock him in with a new profession at all. Maybe we'll try to get him to be a smither. If that's not the case, we may have to, I'm stuck. We might have to make room, if you will. Oh, so he did, he did change. So he's good to be changed. Yeah, we just got to find a lectern, which means we've got to get some books, which we don't have. It's got slabs. I don't even know how to make a lectern. It's definitely slabs, right? Boom. One book shelf. So we need three books. We've got the paper. Duh, here. Got the paper, so we just need to find ourselves a quote unquote donor to give ourselves some more, oops, uh, some more leather. Bye cows. Uh, Freckles seems more appropriate. Seems more horsey, but he doesn't look like he has freckles. I'm well aware of that. 13, oh man, we are just boogieing. These cows, don't, they don't have time to move. They spawn in and we're just right up on them. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I missed it there. See, I think it's a me problem. I think this horse is a fantastic horse. I just can't. Oh, okay. Moment of truth. Yeah. Now his jump's good. I think his bar moves a little faster, maybe because he's so fast. And so it's hard to hit that gold spot there like that. That's a jump. Boop. Yeah, nailed it twice. Three in a row. Yep. We're the greatest. Oh, that's my insides. Yep. Oh, geez. We are so fast. Look at us go! We are built for speed. We got and we got twenty. Count them twenty in. What time is it? In seven minutes, we got twenty more. Uh, cowhide. Now, can I put you on this post about picking everybody else up? No. Okay, everybody stay. Everybody stay. Calm down. I know. We there's probably a better way about going about this. <laughs> like maybe five different posts, but yeah, that's a, that's a, that's our. That's our way for now. Okay. I can make books now. Right? Yes. And then I can make bookshelves. Really? Only two? Oh, that's based on my wood. Okay. Let's grab some more wood, but leave some in our inventory. Two more bookshelves. Great. Perfect. Slabs, right? Oh. Well, what else do we need? Where'd it go? Uh, we lost it. Yeah, slabs. Slabs is an issue. Okay, so get some more. And get some slabs. There we go. We got four more intelligent boys? Four more learny boys. <laughs> Come on. This is the one. Big box, no whammies. <gasps> oh my goodness, there it is. Okay, now that's a really, really real okay, we're gonna we're gonna ponder. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm a wizard, but you all saw that. Uh, efficiency for 60 seems super steep, but efficiency 5 is the efficiency to have. Now, the only thing I'm going to... Let's put the weapon away. We don't want to hurt anybody. The only thing that's going to make me counter that is the fact that that's efficiency 2. Efficiency 1. You're, what, what do I have you for? Oh, you got... No, I don't know what you're for. Efficiency two, I'm breaking two. This is so far, oh, and I'm breaking two on the that. Where are you at? And you have sharpness, efficiency two. So the only thing that's keeping me resistant to that trade is the fact that maybe I can even get something better from this guy. I don't know if they, yeah, see, that may be really good. 
my question being is this seems like efficiency two is the highest one I've seen on all of these two is the max. They've, they've had no threes of anything. Everything is sharpness two, efficiency two. And I need to look at a wiki on two C two 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 and see if that truly is the max. That's the max enchantment, which this is kind of the best one based on the stats and which I used to get this. I would have to buy, oh, let's do the math here. I have to make two fishes to two to get three, two more to get four, and then I need two fours, so it should be four more. So I need, I need to buy eight of these to get efficiency five, I believe. That makes sense in my head. Maybe it's six. And six of those at 25 is 300, which is, oh no, six of those at 25 is not 300. Six of those at 25 is uh, 180. So it's really expensive just for me to go over here and, you know, no, not there, and buy an expensive book from this guy. If I could get this book it down like 40, super worth it. Now, I do think it's all a random roll, and that's definitely, oh my goodness me, that is definitely a potential. It has potential. Ooh, we look, we look, we look ominous with this, this backdrop. It definitely has potential, but is it worth our time? I spent a lot of time. I think I spent a good 35, 45 minutes on one of those guys. I think the fortune guy just to get fortune. And I'm going to be honest, I think the fortune's a little steep. But I was terrified I would never see... That's not fortune. I would never see fortune again. 29's not bad. So for a stack, I can get two books. That's that's not terrible. So one trade with all four of our farmers when we get them is a stack of is two books. That's that's not, that's not awful. I almost punched this guy. Um... Well, I think we can do better. I think we can get those prices down. I'm going to have to go in and do a little bit of research before I lock in that efficiency five, but it's an exciting start. It's definitely an exciting start. Okay, we get in here, we sit, and we do this. Now, I know you can't see me. Can you see me? No. You can kind of see my butt if I face this direction or if I click up. Yeah, we pop out like that. Little jack-in-the-box action. Yeah, okay. We got, the, we got this figured out. Let me, oh, gosh, get out. Okay. So I think I'm going to close myself in this box in AFK. Usually I box myself into the cliffside over yonder behind my head uh, where we built our little hole in the wall to AFK. And I think I'm going to try to do it in here. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get everything queued up for uh, the proper exit from you guys. There we go. All right. I appreciate y'all coming and hanging out with me today. The music's really loud. I'm sorry if you can't hear me. There we go. Appreciate you all coming and hanging out with me today. I had a great time and we found uh, a great horse, which was unexpected. Uh, again, I appreciate all the support and the comments and the likes and the subscribes and the follows and what, what have you on both Twitch and YouTube. Everything you do helps me tremendously. Keep it up, everybody. And let's get let's get some more traction. I think the last video kind of fell flat on its face. So let's see if we can get some more likes. Give us some more love. Like it up. Uh, leave some comments. Maybe 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 comment on what we how we feel about the the lava flow over there. We like that. Yes, no. Maybe we should get rid of it and put something else instead. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. But without further ado, I'm gonna get out of here. Do some AFKing in my lovely little trash bucket here, and then hopefully have some materials next time to get the in at least a good chunk of this whole bottom part done. So uh, okay, I'm gonna head on out of here. Again, like subscribe. Love you guys. Stay beautiful. Peace out. Goodbye. <laughs>